Well, once again, out in the shed. It's actually quite a nice sunny day outside today. Probably about midday now, or 11 o'clock real time. And I'm out here because I need peace and quiet because my jailbird of a brother is in town. He's been bailed to our address. And he's driving up the bloody wall. So, yeah. I have imposed a do not disturb order. I'm going to work on the sabre now. I've been delaying this for a few days because, well, I've been in such a foul bloody mood with him turning up like this, so. But anyway, enough of that. Well, like I said in the last video, I got the kit for the sabre carburetor, which I put back on there, but I didn't, you know, fully attach it. Uh, I was going to get some more fuel, but I think there's just enough in there to get that one done. Yeah, there's enough in there, that'll do. Doesn't smell like eggy stuff, so I think that's the slightly better stuff. But, anyway, I should have probably just cleaned all that up before starting, but, oh well, time to get on with it. So I'm going to spare you the, the annoying details of taking that off, so I'll jump cut here, but I'm going to get that off, I'm going to put something down here to keep everything reasonably clean, and then we'll get that carburetor apart. Right, now I've got all the uh, tools and things all assembled, I'm going to take it all apart. Right, so that's a diaphragm and a gasket in one. Uh, probably just pull a float needle. Oh, going, everything's coming out. So there's the spring, there's the needle and the, not the lead, needle, the uh, thing me bob. And there's the needle. Actually, I'll stay that in. Not good, but that's okay. There's a replacement in the kit. Right. Top end. Yeah, the, uh, the kit are very, very nice and quick for this, so I was quite pleased with that. And I'm still waiting for some bits for the Ryobi hedge trimmer. Mostly involving, you know, waiting for the brake cleaner, which I need to degrease everything, but hopefully that'll be there here tomorrow and I can maybe start working on that. Or maybe not, I don't know. But on this side is all the the crap I'm getting rid of. You can't see it on the camera because it's off the camera. I'm feeling this is like a multi-part kit. So I've got a black rubbery flappy thing, which I presume is for straight petrol, so no. Oh, presume, I don't know. I've also got these little discs, which I believe is supposed to pop out from from uh, there, and there's another one somewhere else. I don't know where. I believe it's supposed to pop them out, give the carburetor a good spraying out with carb cleaner, and going from there. But I'm not that brave. So the pumpy parts, the flappy parts, the springy parts, yeah, all ready to go. But for the moment, I'm just going to give this a good blasting out with carb cleaner, which I'm going to do off camera, because it's going to be out of the... Uh, out of the hatch, which is off in that direction. Oh, my gloves are nice and squeaky clean. But anyway, spread all this out. Uh, spread out what I can. Probably should have let that dry off, really. Big mesh thing goes down in that hole there. Supposedly it's meant to be formed to fit, but this is a generic aftermarket rebuild kit, rather than an original wall barrel. It's just supposed to be a fuel filter screen, just to stop any lumpies getting through. I mean, the fine stuff still gets through and still gets into your engine and grinds down all the important bits there. Now this is the top end of the thing, so it requires that bit to go on the top. Probably be a lot easier if I put it on there because it's got two locating pegs. Muppet. Okay. Yeah, not that you can actually see because I, I keep going off camera, so I'm going to move the camera. Right, so that's them all on there. I hope they're the right way around. Alright, so that's one end done. Let's just make sure that's nice and tight. Now this end. Alright, so... Yep, that's... Moving up and down nicely. So 
last name. The big round pumpy thing. But this one doesn't propel it through space and time. And if you get that reference, you're also as sad as I am. Okay, that's not quite sat on there because I put it on the wrong way around. Why don't you not tell me? <sighs> now it's sat down on there. Alright, so that's all back together again. I'm probably sure I've missed something out, but yeah. As long as the engine starts, runs and keeps going and doesn't bog down and crap out, that's all that matters to me. Uh, so I might as well just give that a quick white wall some here. Keep the uh, mating surfaces reasonably clean. I really should stop saying that'll do a lot, because it makes me sound like I work for British Leyland. Oh dear, there's another one. <laughs> so that's the air filter box. That attaches between the... Uh, no, attaches, the carburetor attaches between this and the outside of the, the intake, even. I always do with new gaskets, but meh. Press that on. Just need to uh, thread the throttle through. Which means I probably should have done it before I put it on, but I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah. shove all that over. angle. It is a bit stiff this one, so... Of course I would have to have one stray bloody wire on here. And the thing about stray wires like these is they do like to uh, go through things. In fact, why don't I just take this off here? That'll make it a lot easier. <laughs> it's funny I think of such smart things afterwards. Tighten down. And those are just the uh, throttle later. Good. Let's just slightly slacken that off a bit just to let the, uh, let the throttle touch the idle. That'll do. Oh, I did it again. Last bits. The world's biggest air filter. Pre clean, pre oiled, so you don't have to worry about that. And that goes on there. And yes, I know I haven't connected the fuel hoses up just yet. I'll do that in a sec. What? 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 Go away! Go, go away! <sighs> you have to be in everywhere, don't you, Spud? <sighs> Excuse me, also just get rid of this bloody can. Spud, get out! <sighs> Between her and my bloody brother, does anybody listen to me? Who just knows that Ryobi's leaking petrol? Look at it sat and hanging. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, it's leaking petrol from the tank. Right, I need to fit the fuel hoses on. So, I have to figure out which one's the, the sucky one and which one's the bluey one. Yeah, that was the right way around. Now all I have to do is give it a test fire. Let's see how long it takes this one to fire up. <laughs> Bearing in mind that fuel in there is also as old as the fuel in the uh, right up. Prepare for annoying ning-nings. Small two-stroke engines and all that. Right. Engine is on. Right, let's go. Oh, she's a joke on. Yeah, it is.
Okay, so it doesn't want to start. And I do know it will run because I just had it running on my easy start. So either I have cocked something up or he doesn't like the fuel. This is why I want the Ryobi to work, because I don't like this one. of evidence that that thing is running again and it doesn't bog down which it was doing before. I'm not going to test this outside because one it's a Sunday, two I need to put fresh fuel in this and three I really can't be arsed. You should see the cloud that's formed up in here. <laughs> I don't know how well the camera's going to pick up on that but yeah I should probably uh, be below that, but oh well. So there we have it. Probably not really much of a long video. Well, once I've edited it, edited it out on my waffling, but that's the Sabre HTS 43, built in 1996 in North Carolina, not New Carolina, because I'm a twit now, and it's running again, and it's running better. So, if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, down below. If you want to subscribe, the little round thing will be over here. And until next time, bye.